Guys, I want to come clean to you about something today. That's why I'm sitting outside. Um, I don't want anyone else to hear, but I will let you in on the fact that I've been the victim of a Chinese fraud. Now, you may be wondering what happened. Did you give him your credit card? How did, how did you become victim of a Chinese online fraud? Well, I read the Citron report about and the Muddy Waters report and the Wolf Pack report and the Grizzly Research report and the Chinese, okay, all the reports about GSX TedEQ. It's a technology-driven education company, provides online K-12 after-school tutoring, tutoring services in China. Okay, it's a coronavirus play, obviously. Um, we've got K-12 LRN in the U.S. These, these stocks are hot right now, these stay-at-home plays. But you know what? I was not thinking about that. I was thinking about the fact that Carson Block had taken down Luck and Coffee just a month or so prior, and I was thinking, oh, I want to be a part of this next one. Carson Block's got a great, great reputation. This is a great story. So I started getting greedy, and I started anticipating my gains, and I started buying put options when the stock was around $29, $30. Today, in over a month, just over a month and a half, it's at $80. And I'm going to tell you where I messed up. I think you already know. Failing to look at the technical, the technicals, failing to look at the fact that it's a COVID play, and failing to realize that the chairman was going to do everything in his power to push the stock up, whether it's his friends and other trading divisions. He even vowed to get the stock to $100. So with only 30 million shares float for a 15, 20 billion dollar company, that is very, that's very small, and they've got some ways they can manipulate this thing up. So when the information came out, when, it, when, when we realized the SEC was not about to do anything about it, when we realized that, that the technicals it just kept marching higher, Luckin didn't, didn't crash until the technicals had broken down. So this is my reminder, guys. Keep your position sizes very small if you are going to go against the technicals. And just for something like this, you need to wait until you see something break down or it's gonna be hard for your mental uh, mental health, you know. Um, thankfully, I've got all this nature, and I've got family, and I've got other positions in better stocks in my other account. But in any case, I hope you can learn something from my failure in GSX, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna, I've got another video coming out later today that's gonna be a little more in depth on uh, some other things. So I will see you guys in the next one.